what you have going on today is you're the founder of Channel 3, I guess it's gaming, Yeah. right? And mm-hmm. so when I first started digging in as Dave books all the guests and a uh, high level, like, there's a lot of background you have. Education's important to you. You're, an, you're a, a professor at Miami University in Ohio now as well. Yep. Um, have a history of being an editor-in-chief on a legit impactful platform um, for followers, engagement, users, um, the dad. But that even came from having a site about moms. That's right. right which is exciting. Yep. And so Channel 3 Gaming, when I pulled it up, I said, all right, here's Mark Perkins' layman reference to gaming. Pong. Oh, man, way back. Um, Mario Kart. All right. And like Mario Brothers and Donkey Kong. So you're sitting here talking to a guy that has no clue about the world that you're in. And that, from my curiosity, level up because everything I start seeing, I don't have anybody, nieces and nephews, and anybody in my world that's into gaming that I engage with on a consistent mm-hmm. basis. But from what I understand, is this is a career now. Yeah. And not just even the gaming part, you can make millions, these top gamers playing games and winning yeah i mean that's that's what gets all the attention because it's like a novelty right it's like oh that's cool you can get you, you can be a professional gamer but but the back end the on the industry development too. is massive all right so it's let's go there so what's sure. on your mind right now um we'll get into why you started um but i heard channel three gaming i'm like oh it's a rating and review site though mm-hmm. and an app it's a big so, part of it so yeah. that's fascinating to yep. me so what's on your mind with gaming in 2023 well i'll just tell you this you, you mentioned those those really old games <laughs> that I played too. I'm really old as well, um, but a lot has changed since then. Okay, a lot has changed. Gaming as an industry, as an entertainment medium, is gigantic. Like I could just, I could just make up statistics right now, and, and people would believe them because it's that big. People say it's it's bigger than movies and sports combined, and things like that, which I believe is true. But it is also the most social form of entertainment out there. And I think people take that for granted. People, it gets wrongly pigeonholed as being a socially isolating thing. It's like you're holed up and you're in your house, you know, grinding levels on some game and not talking to anyone. These days, you can do that, but it's not like that at all. It's very socially connective. It's this massive online world where you are using it to connect with friends, with family, with your kids, and even making brand new friends with internet strangers that are like-minded and share the same interests. So it's a very, very socially connective medium. So we don't, it doesn't, we don't talk about it in the form of social media, but the way you're speaking to it is, it is. Yeah, it, it is a social media. Mm-hmm. So creating a social media platform for that form of entertainment makes so much sense to me so much sense to me we'll talk about channel three more i'm sure but no but i want to hear about it. it's like, wild like how do we have a, a social media platform for office workers linkedin before we have one for gamers it's crazy and so what do you think um i love that we're having the conversation because i really i'm not plugged into this at all and what i believe is i bet a good percentage of listeners entrepreneurs like you're in your world, you're in your bubble. You're probably thinking, "How are you guys not?" Yeah. And you're probably in your that's the, what your professor, right, around as well mm-hmm. at Miami. So you understand it, and the people you're around, and the students that come in, you know it. The way that we probably know, like playing a game of basketball or something, sure. or picking up a chessboard, and so that's what hopefully you can connect for us today is the significance of what's happening. That's right. That's right. I think gaming gaming is massive. And and it feels weird to say this, but the world of online social gaming, it's not mainstream enough. (laughs) Like it's it's hard to say that. But like I'm an adjunct professor at Miami University. I teach esports broadcasting in their their esports, you know, majors. So what is that? Esports broadcasting is basically streaming, online live streaming of video games. Um, or you know, broadcasting esports events as well, and knowing how to cast and how to produce the events and all of that stuff. So when you think of professional gaming, when you think of making money off of gaming, people go to esports right away. They go to esports. It's a it's a memorable term. It's a, it's a buzzword that people can remember. Esports, esports, esports. Esports is the tip of the iceberg. It is a big deal. That's true. But there's this huge other market of casual gamers. 
And even people who don't think of themselves as gamers, they're pulling up mobile games on their phone or they're playing Mario Kart with their kids at night just to chill or whatever. They're gamers. They're gamers. And and there's not a mainstream social network that appeals to them in a way that's accessible and, and not intimidating. Right. And that, hence, is what Channel 3 is meant to that's be. That's what Channel 3 is meant to be. Yeah.